Welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing a video with a little bit of food prep and just um, some footage of what we ate for dinner this week. It wasn't very thrilling or exciting. It's just what it was. Right now we're in a season where um, dinner and making food isn't a big priority. A lot of times it's just getting fed and not really so much about the presentation. That's all right. We're really busy right now. It's just um, a really busy time at work and summer and you name it. So I'm going to show you that I am chopping up some peppers and some onions and some jalapenos and I'm putting them in bags so that I can store them in my freezer and when I need them I can reach in and get what I want um, for cooking or for topping foods or whatever so all I'm doing is I'm using this food chopper to chop everything the idea is that you know I won't have to handle the jalapenos as much and burn my hands my fingers my mouth my face like I always do and also that I can do a lot of onions at one time and only cry one time so that's what we're doing right now Once I had all of the onions into the bag, I just laid it flat, then I opened it again and pressed out as much air as I could get out of them, and then I just left the bags laying flat and then put them in the freezer on top of a hard surface. We didn't get a chance to do much cooking at home this week, um, both working double shifts and night shifts something we don't normally do so we were feeling pretty good about having a dinner at home and you know not just spending for ourselves this week but we were both tired so it ended up just being chili dogs and chips and this is bill's uh version he didn't have any buns with his One of the other meals that I came up with was some a variation of goulash, which I used some smoked sausage and some ground beef just because it's what we had on hand. So I just kind of threw some things together. I put some of those frozen onions in the pan with the meat while it was cooking, as well as some of the green bell peppers. This was just a really easy and quick dish that I could throw together in one pot like I said we didn't do much cooking this week it just there wasn't time and we weren't all home at the same time we were all busy and doing other things with work and whatnot and so I just added some garlic powder and some black pepper and some salt And then I have the water boiling for the elbow macaroni. And I just cooked that until it was done. And so then I just cooked the peppers, the onions, and the meat together and drained it. Then I added a can of diced tomatoes. Mix it all in. 
really really simple and quick adding the macaroni give it all a swirl then I come back in with some beef broth I didn't have any tomato paste any tomato juice or tomato sauce and we kind of like it with uh, broth anyway and I kind of feel like goulash is a dish that you just throw whatever you want into it and so I'm adding more garlic powder a little bit of cayenne more black pepper stir it all up Then I added some shredded cheese. And mixed it all in. So to go with it, I wanted some uh, cornbread. I had some boxes of Jiffy. I just made it according to the directions on the box, an egg and some milk. Mix it all together. And I didn't want to turn on my oven. It's been really hot. We don't have our air conditioner on in the downstairs of our house yet. So I absolutely do not want to turn my oven on on a hot day. So I got out the waffle iron. And gave it a shot. And just in a couple of minutes, I had some cornbread. It was very tasty. This was quick. It was easy, and it didn't cause a mess, so I really was happy with this technique. And so here is my plate. I'm putting a pat of cold butter on there. That's just what we had. And so with the um, waffle cornbread being hot that butter melted pretty good but put it in the middle of it my little bowl of goulash I added a little extra cheese on top and then I just drizzled my cornbread um, waffle whatever it is with some honey it was really good very easy and delicious on this day it was just Cameron and I so we had fast food for dinner and went to a movie and finally, we had my 50th birthday celebration on July 3rd. We normally get together on the 3rd to do our 4th of July and my birthday. For my birthday cake, I requested strawberry shortcake, and my daughter was sweet enough to record herself making these little individual shortcake cups and the uh, strawberry shortcake for the middle. Um, decoration and main cake. I really appreciate that she did this to share with my channel so that you all could see how um, nice everything turned out. She did a really good job on all of the little cakes and decorations for my birthday party. These little shortcake cups were just the perfect summertime dessert.
Oh, yes, I do. Check this out. Diamonds, 45 degree turn. Works every time. Right outside of so this is the part where I'm annoyingly lingering at the grill taking photos and videos of the food because, you know, that's just what I do. And I'm used to being the one that cooks the food and films me cooking the food. And today I wasn't cooking. We didn't have to do anything but show up. So how special is that? Um, way to be spoiled on your birthday. So here is some shrimp that they put on the barbecue and some hot dogs. There were brats, steak. Um, corn on the cob, baked potatoes, and then, um, you know me, I'm going around and I'm getting, uh, pictures of everybody's food plates, and <laughs> here's all the corn and stuff all wrapped up in, in the house, in their little pans with the toppings and stuff, and of course, getting people while they're eating, that's always fun. Just another yummy plate. My beautiful grandchildren. Everybody was having such a good time and the food was so good. Yep, yep, yep. Just a really fun time. Bill and I did get into the pool and enjoyed some uh, time with the little babies, but not while the wild kids were in the pool. Thank you so much for coming by and watching my video and sharing another of our family get togethers. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you can see more videos in the future.